Okay. Um, I had a writer's workshop this afternoon, and our prompt was kind of like a choose your own adventure a little bit, like a situation that impacted you greatly in your life. Like, what happened and what if it didn't happen? So this is about my uh, legal name change and gender change. It's called A Man at 18. August 18th, or maybe 19th, 2010. Trey Cason Williams was born. I sat there with my best friend, a girl I once or thrice proposed to because I want her to be there for everything important in my life. The judge talked to us about crack babies and how kids need to be careful about drugs, pretty sure he was on something or just trying to ease the tension. If I was wearing a tie, I probably loosened it. My mom and stepdad and honorary aunt were there, and I knew this was going to be it. A man at 18, just like all the other boys. My dad wasn't there. I went behind his back, as well as my stepmom's, because... I knew they didn't approve, but the judge did, and that is all that mattered. I walked in, Rachel, Ariel, Bine, and out, Trey Case and Williams, female to male. Just like my favorite poem that I wrote. I was lucky to get that judge, because another one may have said no. I would have never gone with my dad. How dare I change my last name? Their daughter is gone, maybe never was there, but the child still exists. I am still me. I just wear skirts as a choice. I like boys as I am, maybe a little bit gay. And, Dad, I'm sorry. I know you're doing your best, and Ima, you're trying, and you deserve a rest. Thank you for using gender-neutral pronouns as much as possible, and even if you think of me as your daughter, you don't really say it anymore. I'm happy to be your kid. But I wonder if I had been denied my pride and self left to rot on a shelf crying in a courtroom being escorted out by the men I'd never be. Where was my security? I am blessed and honored and privileged and thinking about another outcome, I don't know if I could have waited. Although not too much has changed, I still get cat calls and called miss and it's not that bad to get free food and drinks. And the door held open for me, but please don't expect anything. Whether I'm a man, or a woman, or anyone, I'm a person, and I don't owe that to you. I recently turned four, the day or two after my 22nd birthday. Nobody made me a cake. I forgot until now. Happy birthday to me, a man among men. I'm still plagued on what it means to be a man, and if I really want to be one because of all of the trouble we cause. In women's studies, I debated raising my hand when the teacher asked about women's versus men's experiences. I have had both. I still have both. I'm still the same person, just a haircut, name change, and my ID went from F to M. I had waited three years for Trey to come out, and when he did... When I did... It was like the world was finally for me. I could live as I wanted. I can stand tall as I can. Maybe that's part of being a man, but I've learned to check my privilege, even though I don't feel like I experience it that much. A man at 18, just like the other boys, except I don't have to register for the draft, and I understand girls better than you. Thank you.